Okay, we're going to take apart the Philips HTS3410D DVD Home Theater System. Yeah! I got my screwdriver, so let's go to work. Yeah! Fought the fire, fighting the fire. We are fighting the fire. I fought the fire. You fought the fire. Taking apart this DVD player in about five, six, seven seconds. We will be to the clip where we are inside the DVD player. Good. Wow. Look, there's a CD in there too. How about that? Wow. Isn't that cool? Alright. Alright, we got the motherboard. Look at all those capacitors. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, what else we got here? Don't want to touch this capacitor because they probably still have a charge. Even though it's been off for a long time. I mean the little ones probably don't, but those big ones. Ooh, they probably do. And look at that electromagnet. Looks like a um, one of those um old circular candies. It's got copper wires around it. Copper wire around a magnet. Yeah. It's like some type of Probably an inductor capacitance or something like that. But, um, I don't know, it looks like some kind of transformer or whatever. Anyway, um, there's the DVD. Ooh, risk of radiation while it's on. Do not look into the laser beam while it's on. Alright. Got some, what looks like to be a heat sink right next to. Uh, I have no idea. Alright, and then under there, got some shielding going on. There's some, some components under there. Wow. Dip. Read, change. Let's see if we can get it. Read. Fusible, the rechange, the moment. It's Spanish. All right. What else do we have here? Let's check out the inputs. And, isn't that cool? Yeah, we'll just do a little scan by. Little uh, scan by scanning around. Look at the little tiny resistors. Oh, too far, too far for the cap capability of this camera. Do a little um, dollars screw down. Just a little, little drive by of what's inside the DVD player. The heart and brain. Those well, are the brains of the machine. I guess the heart could be the battery. Oh, we got some uh, green stuff and crap going on over here. Yeah, there's some uh, input stuff and a bunch of electronic, electronic garbage. Some bus wires and some uh, <laughs> wires. Without the silicone and green, 
with the little oh electrons get to flow through those little channels. Mm. They don't really flow like a pipe. It's kind of like sticking a marble on. It's like a pipe full of marbles, and um, it's like those little lines are like full of marbles, and you stick a marble on one end, and it affects the marble on the other end. It just knocks. It's like the pipe is full of marbles, and you stick another marble in, and it just knocks out the marble on the other end because you know you can't fit one more marble in. That's kind of how electricity works. There's forces and stuff like that. It, it's just electro electricity. It's uh, it's just one of those things. Electrons, one of those fundamental particles. Anyway, um, oh, and plus you got like uh, oh, and the and the atoms. Yeah, in the atoms you have uh, ions, electrons that get accepted into some part, of, some elements or whatever. Atoms in the shells and the valence electrons. You have two valence electrons that are open, so electrons are like, ooh, I want to go there, they go there. And then you have some atoms, like the noble elements, that have their valence electron shells that are all the way, they're all used up. So no more electrons can go there, so they don't go there. So those are the insulators. Insulators, you know, on plastic and stuff that doesn't conduct electricity. Anyway, we don't care about that shit. We care about what's inside here. And it's just uh, a bunch of electronic crap. Just stuff you kinda, I don't know if you'd expect it, but just a lot of vibrato. Ooh, it's the second edition, check that out. Vibrato 2. Yep, lead free. There is no PB in here. Lead free, yay. Isn't that exciting? And tech. Amtec, English name, probably Chinese, made in China. Anyway, um, look at those little resistors. <laughs> it's got some color coding going on. You want to count the color code? <gasps> oh, we got, did you guys see the gold on that one on the end? If I can get it to focus, focus camera. Oh, what's the, uh, the last band that's the, that was a good one. That um, tells you it's 20% error. 20, 25%, I have to look it up. If you're an engineer, you just say, oh, I'll go, go look it up. You go look it up and read. But uh, anyway, it's looking around here. And inside these little bad boys, it's just smaller circuitry. It's just things are smaller and smaller and smaller. And uh, got Moore's Law, it's uh, reaching its climax here in a few years. But there'll be DNA computers and quantum computers and all kind of all kind of other cool stuff that's going to be coming out. So um, Moore's law, I believe it'll continue in a way. Um, it'll just be different. Anyway, yep, that's it. That's the inside of the DVD uh, player. Yep. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, I like tearing stuff apart and just looking at it and trying to study electronics and mechanical, electrical, pneumatic, whatever. Whatever I get myself into and uh, just get motivation to do and uh, just, it's all about motivation really. Motivation, timing, uh, right circumstances, you have the time to do this, do I feel like reading that? Am I hungry for food? Yes, I can eat food while I read that. And I can watch that video. Oh, and getting distracted too. Uh, try not to get distracted too much, but you know, just try to read and stay current and um, keep keep getting educated and keep going to school and just uh, get the right job and stuff like that. And just keep, keep staying on track to, to stay in the field. Stay in the field. Science and technology, yeah. Space. Yeah, put a moon on, put a put a moon base on the on the moon or whatever, and all kind of spin-off technologies and all kind of stuff like spin-offs. You can be researching, oh man, this hundred billion dollar project or whatever that's cost taxpayers so much money. But what they don't realize is, yeah, okay, whatever the whatever you're trying to do, oh, I'll put uh, a bunch of people on the moon or people on Mars or go to an asteroid or whatever. 
that's just one solution or end product of that investment of money you put into and people working stuff like that to go achieve that goal there are so many solutions that to try to achieve that goal are accomplished like technologies and like optics and electronics and um, medical like you, you try to okay we're, we're gonna try to get this mirror to be so uh, accurate it's accurate within four nanometers or, or uh, 20 picometers or you know something like that and so it's like okay let's how do we do that how do we go about and trying to find out how to do that and so they research it and try experiments and and eventually they they do novel novel things or whatever and it's never been done before and there you go there's just been off technology and that new novel way can be translated transcribed to other professions and uh, ventures and other other things and hey there you go isn't that cool all right later